What's up everybody, it's Ryan here with PCDJ. Uh, we've had a lot of requests from users uh, on how to quickly set up their MIDI controller with, uh, for use with PCDJ DEX2 or PCDJ Red Mobile. Uh, it's really simple. If uh, it's already a supported controller, uh, and there's a full list of what controllers we natively support uh, on the DEX2 product page at PCDJ.com. Um, by native support, I mean that we've written in support for the controller already. Uh, so you simply just have to assign it, um, basically initialize the controller, and it will simply work. Uh, in order to do this, click the Preferences button or Options Configuration up in the top left or right hand corner of your screen. Looks like a little gear icon. Click that and you will be presented with your Preferences pop-up menu. Uh, across the top you have a General tab and an Audio and a MIDI tab. Click the Audio MIDI tab. The very top you'll have this little window here. Uh, it says Select MIDI in Devices. Uh, you can actually use multiple devices, but for today we're just going to show you how to select one. In this list, I have a couple controllers here at my desk. Uh, one is the Beams Virtual MIDI Unit, and one is this MIDI 8 controller. Um, if you know, if we support the controller, uh, you know, make sure obviously by looking at the website, it will show in this list. You highlight the controller with your mouse, so it's highlighted in the window. Whatever controller you want to initialize and then simply hit OK. And that will do it. So at this point, uh, if the controller is natively supported, you will have full control over the software. Actually, you should uh, probably see the controller light up the various buttons or power buttons. Uh, not all controllers have them, of course. Uh, but it should be pretty apparent that your controller is now working. Um, if, uh, and while we're at it here, if it's a controller we don't support, uh, you can also use the MIDI learn function to map it yourself, uh, various functions. Uh, keep in mind that items like the jog wheels are best suited for us to map. Uh, all the resolutions, or, or each controller may use uh, different resolutions uh, as far as you know how many points of data and how, it, how much uh, information it's reading per resolution or per revolution of the jog wheel. Uh, with that in mind, uh, it's just much better if we can map it here for tighter, uh, better control. Uh, so, But if you want to map all the other functions like play, pause, cue, loop, uh, volume, EQ, all those other items, it's real easy to do. You simply go into Preferences as we did before, go to the Audio MIDI tab across the top, select the controller you want to, um, to map, and hit OK. So the same thing as before. At this point, however, uh, you would want to hit the Learn button on the DEX or Red Mobile interface. Learn button is located here at the top of the screen. Click it. And as you see, you'll see the various different panels, functions, features of the software light up. They'll actually be highlighted with a blue dotted line around the uh, border of the function uh, or button. So at this point, uh, just to show you how this is going to work, I'll just do it with keyboard commands because you can also map the keyboard commands using the learn function. Uh, you simply click the play button, for instance. As you see, it'll highlight in a, a solid blue outline. And if I click the corresponding button on the keyboard or the controller that I want to map it to, it will then be mapped. And it will actually remember this map and save it so that next time you use the software, it's going to be ready to go. So, just for... Uh, for purposes here of this video, I will click 2. So as you see, it's now assigned 2 to the play function. So if I click learn again, it will actually memorize that. So we'll go back to the normal interface. If I click 2, you'll see that it'll start playing. Uh, so you map, you do the same thing for any function of the software. If I want to map a slider, uh, you just you know click the slider or the pitch in this instance that you want to map, and I'll assign a 4 uh, and a 3 if I wanted to. You can assign multiple functions or multiple keyboards to one command if you want to. So it's as simple as that. You basically go throughout all the features that you want to map on your particular controller, click the feature on screen, move the corresponding function on the controller, be it a knob, slider, button, and click learn again to exit and it will memorize that map for free future use. Uh, keep the suggestions coming. If you guys need more videos, uh, comment on this thread and we'll throw them up there for you. Thank you.